Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here with the champ, the happy champ. I mean, I just spoke to you coming up the stairs there and I was like, I, f I enjoyed that fight, it was a great fight to watch, but I've got to ask you, was that a great fight to, to be in? Unreal. It was class. You always dream about them stuff, you know, like, uh, like as a kid and stuff, you know, like I love to be in them good fights and, and I was tonight and more of, more of anything, it's a learning, learning experience. You know, he was catching me with shots, he kept coming and, and I showed heart and grit and, do you know, I had to dig deeper in some rounds. I, I, I put that on my Instagram that Lewis Clock on my Instagram story is showing true grit here because you did drop him in, I think it was in the second or third, I can't quite remember. And it looked like it might have been an early night because you, you did hurt him quite bad, but he seemed to just get back up and he came back swinging. Were you shocked at that? Not really, because I knew he was uh, a tough, tough fighter. You know, he was like actually for a champion and stuff, and uh, he went the distance with Cavalinkas or whatever you call him. Do you know what I mean? And he, he kept coming for him as well. So, no, I, I knew he was in for a tough night. And, but he honestly made it the hardest head I've ever felt in my life. I was hitting him with some big shots, and he was just like sort of just grinning and kept coming forward. So, it was good. It was a, it was a great learning experience. Do you know what I mean? But it was a great fight to, to have on my, on my record. Like I said to you, you've shown that you can do the 10 rounds in a war, which is probably energy is up and you're probably shattered, you're probably struggling to hold that belt up, you're, you're, <laughs> you're that tired, Lewis, but yeah. again, but there was times in that fight when you showed head movement, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean, when you were against the ropes, you slipped, dip, rolled and you got off the ropes yeah. quick, so you, you showed your footwork and you showed some boxing ability as well, do you think you've, you've shown more of your arsenal to the fans and everybody watching on IFL TV? 100%, yeah, but that's what... That's only like a fifty percent performance of like where I can be and, and what I can can't do. It's more the experience I'm gaining. Do you know what was that's only my thirteenth fight as well. So do you know it's about building from this and then putting all them good things together each and every round and you know just always staying in shape and uh, hopefully MTK keep me busy this year and have some big fights on there. Well, I, I want to talk about the big fights. I always do with you, Lewis, and you always you, you always tell me basically shut <laughs> shut the fuck up, but it doesn't matter. Um, that fight that you meant you said it was, it, was a, it was a learning fight, but for your opponent and Dennis uh, LB, I mean, what have you got to say about that man? Respect, I respect for that guy. Do you know what I mean? Um, he kept coming forward. Uh, he, he is, he's a, he's a quality, quality opponent. Do you know what I mean? And and by all means, I knew that he was coming to win that fight, and he thought he, he would have beat me. So I've got complete respect for the fellow. And you know, he says he was going to knock me out and stuff. So that, that was in my head, and. Do you know, uh, I, I did. I, I remember it was it was the last round there, and I was like, "Let's fucking do this!" Like, do you know what I mean? Let's 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 go home and take the belt home, me and and yeah, do you know, fair play to him. There was a, obviously you heard, you dropped him in the second or third. I can't quite remember. I mean, the fight just seems like a blur to me now. <laughs> but there was a there was a moment in the fight when he threw a right hand, and it, 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 I don't know if it, it looked like I saw a caught glimpse of my eye. I was talking to Sheldon, but. Did, did he did he rock you? Was it a stumble? What was the? Do you remember the shot? It was like I think it was in the fifth or sixth round. What did he, did he hurt you with that shot? I felt it. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like I was completely out of it and stuff. I felt the shot. I was like I knew what to do in in that moment, and that was it. I'm, I'm glad I got hit. I had that because like you were glad they, you got hit. Hundred percent. Because like you know you have to know how to react. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm going to my next fight now, saying all right, if I get hit, been here before and stuff. Do you know what I mean? And I had had to get hit. To sort of op make the openings because that guy could have come in if you let him. I could have like boxed him, maybe like nicked a few rounds. But if, if I knew um, I could find some openings with him letting the shots go, then then so be it. You know what I mean? And, and I worked in the end. You said there's big fights for you next. I mean, that's the second time you defended that title. Is the first time I defended it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Won it, uh, that, I well won it in the end, then defended it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I feel like a champion. <laughs> now, now you feel like a champion. So you mentioned the big fights in that. I mean, like I tell you, this 147 pound division right now domestically is, is heating up, it's on fire. Like I mentioned, the Conor Benz, the David Avenitians, mm -hmm. the, the, the Florian Marcus, and stuff like that. Can we say Lewis Crocker in there as well? Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what I mean? Um, I'm hoping just to build each, each and every fight. and. You know, when the, f the crowds are back as well, um, I think th there's big fights there to be made. And do you know what I mean? We're all, we're all working away and we're all the, the, same, the same thing, respecting any boxer. We all want the big fights as, as well. So, yeah, if, if the big fights come, then hopefully they come this year, actually. Do you know what I mean? It'd be good to get a big fight by the end of the year. But I, I think. Um, I'm going to do it. Who? Who? Any of them, mate. <laughs> any of them. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to call anyone out. It's whatever, mate. I'm, I'm high, high enough up in the rankings that, do you know what I mean? Like, whoever's there and about, that I, I'll be ready for them. Well, like, a, like your style of fighting, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm going to see the names like Florian Marcus style of fighting, war. Your style of fighting, David Avenatti style of fighting, war. Your style of fighting, Conor Ben style of fighting, war. I mean, there's tasty, tasty fights for not just me as a selfish boxing fan, but all boxing fans up and down this country to look at that and be like, 
let's just get these fights made. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, there will be made as well. There's no point in rushing things as well. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm only 24 as well. So let me let me get my experience and do you know? Uh, let me be my hundred percent when I when I fight these boys as well. And and they're probably on the same boat. Do you know what I mean? Like. We're all on different paths as well. Some's WBA route, um, WBO route to a certain extent as well. So, like the big fights will come, and they're inevitable. Um, yeah, they'll come sooner or later. Do you know what I mean? I don't think we all have to call each other out, but do you know if anyone wants it, I'm here for it. Like WBO route, you want Tens Crawford? <laughs> Mucker, they'll be saying that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just doing my job, I'm asking the question. Uh, you know, fight with Crawford for the money, like, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, it's, it's surreal that Crawford's like the WBO champion. And, yeah, it is surreal. Do you know what I mean? Crawford is ridiculous. Crawford's my favourite fighter as well, but, do you know, uh, obviously, if the match was ever thing, do you know what I mean? I would take it because it would be a win win. Or, sorry. Oh, it is a win win, yeah, because, yeah, do you know what I mean? I got knocked out in the first or second. It doesn't matter anyway, like, but. Yeah, it's showing you got a chin. Yeah, I got a chin. Do you know what I mean? Whatever, but uh, yeah, whatever. Man. Well, you're smiling. I won't keep you much longer because I know, like you said, you've been in a grueling ten-round fight. I don't want to keep you much longer, so I do appreciate your time. Um, until the next time, mate. I can't wait for the next fight because you're not in a dull fight ever. So yeah. I'm a fan, and I can't wait for the next one. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Anytime, Lewis. Thank you, brother.